pretty intimate. It's, uh, it's something that's very close, close to me. Uh, because it's an expression of who you are, you know, art is, is a type of language that, you know, sometimes words, you know, verbal communication can only extend so far when trying to, you know, tell a story. It's so cool to see someone who, who thinks an idea out so, so well before it's, before it's even started. Yeah, Andrew's style has always been kind of Andrew's style. I always remember like he was always drawing, even when you'd meet up at a cafe, he would have his notebook and it would just be pen and, and it was pretty cool to see what he was doing with materials that we could all use, you know, a notebook and a ballpoint pen. I've had a few people like obviously buy his works and every time people ask about it, I don't really want to sell it. <laughs> the street art I think is, is doing a lot to kind of re-energise people into seeing art in their everyday lives. I think it really creates a culture and a personality in a town or a city. I originally met him through the Rediscover project when Andrew approached all of the businesses in the CBD and I was really excited by the project and so I got to know him, offered my assistance just from a support perspective um, and by having the maps in my shop etc and offering advice as well. Uh, Rediscover has been uh, you know, an idea that I had in its early stages a couple of years ago and really it was, it, you know, evolved out of this desire to do, you know, something on a large scale that was creative in my hometown, which is Bunbury. And so, very, very small scale at the time, you know, it was just this idea that I thought, oh, it'd be, it'd be great to paint some murals, maybe get a few guys together, do it over a weekend and just have some fun. Uh, but progressively it kind of got a little bit bigger and bigger and, uh, you know, incredible support from the Bunbury community. Uh, and so it evolved into more of a festival, you know, type of projects. Bunbury's two hours south of the most isolated city in the world. That gives a bit of context to how isolated it is. <laughs> but I kind of like that, you know, because it, it, it kind of generates a bit of a pioneering type of spirit, you know, where people are like, yeah, I'll give it a crack, you know, because why not, you know, you know, let's, let's break some new ground. And so to start, you know, to start a project that's in Bunbury, in WA, with West Australian artists, uh, for, for me that I really am passionate about um, sharing with other people, it was really, really special. I don't know what it is, but we've created a belief that, you know, art has to be paint on canvas, you know, where the reality is people are creative because they've been created to create. Art is, is meant to be shared and the beauty of it is in, in sharing and that collaboration. And so it's, it's essential that it exists. Um, but not just that it exists, but people are aware that they are a part of that bigger picture. You know, that they are a contributor. And that without their voice, then there's something missing. So yeah, I'm really passionate about that and seeing people sort of come alive in their own creativity because I believe that's, you know, a, you know, a key component in, in why we've been created.